Only God can hang the stars in outer space Only He can make a rainbow from the rain Only God can part the seas to make a way There's nothing He can't do No, there's nothing He can't do Cause He can do anything Anything at all He can do anything Anything at all There's no giant too big No mountain too tall I know God is powerful Yeah, anything He can do anything Anything at all Only God can hang the stars Today there are many challenges and many are facing changes. In this season of turbulence and trouble, the next generation is rising. They are united in prayer, called to be watchmen over their families, towns, cities, and nations. Hello, 来寻求上帝 Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you guide all churches towards the path that leads us to all things right. Fill us with your joy, wisdom, and faithfulness. And have us seek the Lord's grace and glory for eternity. Please allow our pastor to God and family, provide their needs, protect them, bless their coming in and going out, lead them, guide them. 求主帮助所有的教会和基督徒, 让他们把耶稣的爱传出去给更多的人, 让更多的人相信主耶稣. 我为着很迷信主的人祷告, 求耶稣祝福他们, Hi,他们让他们可以听到福音。我们为着我们的教会、牧师、领袖们和弟兄姐妹们，把他们所有人都交托在你手中，照顾他们。Dear, dear Heavenly Father, I pray for the next generation's Christians to understand and know you personally. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 不管我们年纪多小，一切从我们先开始。announcement time. We are looking for you. For what? For children who want to be part of our videos. If you would like to try out being part of our worship service or special event videos, please ask your mommy or daddy to sign up through this link, which will be in the description box below as well. Alright, we will contact your daddy or mommy, and if everything goes well, voila, you'll be part of our production team. I look forward to many of you signing up. Bye! Hi friends! I need your help. I'm going to send some fruits and vegetables to my friends based on the order. But there are so many fruits and vegetables in the picture. Here, let me show you. I've already counted four of them, but I need to count the rest. Would you like to help me? Alright, let's start with watermelon. How many? Eight. That's right! Now, kiwi! Four? Wow! You guys really fast! Mm, let's do the strawberries now! Three? Yes! The last one, the cherries! Five! Well done, children! Thank you so much for your help! Now, I can prepare and send the fruits to my friends. These fruits look yummy and healthy. 
Hey, you know what? This reminds me of a story I read in the Bible. Yes, the Bible does talk about yummy fruits and vegetables. I can't wait to hear about it again. Jill, and I've got a true story to share with you from the Bible. 
Today's true story from the Bible begins with the ruler of the powerful country, Babylon, who had a very long name. His name was King Nebuchadnezzar. Let me say it again. King Nebuchadnezzar. I believe you remember him. He was the one who threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fire. But this story is before that incident. King Nebuchadnezzar had gone to Israel with a strong army. His army took many people from Israel back to their country Babylon. Four boys were among the people taken from Israel. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and their very good friend, Daniel. That's a name you've probably heard before. When they got to Babylon, an official of the king came to choose servants for the king. The official chose the strongest, the healthiest, and the smartest young man. Daniel and his friends were chosen. As the king's servants, Daniel and his friends would go to a special school. They would learn to speak and read the king's language. They were also supposed to eat food right from the king's table. That's right, the same food the king ate. For sure, the king's food looked and smelled very good. But God had told his people not to eat certain foods and the king's food was not something they could eat. So Daniel and his friends prayed and decided to obey God's rules. Daniel and his friends talked to the guard who was in charge of meals. Then Daniel asked the guard to give them a test. For 10 days, Daniel and his friends would eat only vegetables and drink only water. Then they would see if this was a good idea. Surprisingly, the guard agreed. For 10 days, Daniel and his friends ate only vegetables and drank only water. Then the guard looked at the boys. Daniel and his friends looked better and stronger than the others did. Isn't that great? They had done the right thing by doing what God wanted and God had taken care of them. They were able to do what was right and show they loved God. Daniel and his friends did what was right and you can do what is right too. I know, I know, it can be hard to make the right choice, but you can always ask God for help. Let me give you a few examples. Let's say you really want to play your uncle's nice guitar, but you know you're not allowed to touch it. Can God help you make the right choice and not play your uncle's guitar? Yes. He can. God is powerful and He will help you make the right choice and leave that guitar alone. Now, can you ask God to help you wait when you really want to eat the cookie before dinner? Yes! God is powerful and He will help you wait to eat that cookie. Mm, can God help us to be excited instead of being jealous when a friend gets a new bike, even when we would like to have a new bike ourselves. That's right, when we ask God to help us, He will. God is so powerful that He can help us make the right choice. Now, friends, did you like the story today? If you did, let me see two thumbs up. Awesome! Now, let me ask you, who is powerful? Of course, God is powerful. Wow, such an amazing story about our powerful God. God helped Daniel make the right choice and He has the power to help us make the right choice too. So, what can we do? While well, when you're at home, you can make a choice to be a blessing to your family. Help your parents with chores. You can choose to speak truthfully and do what is good. You can listen to your teachers 
and do the work given to you well. Play fair with your brothers and sisters and speak gently to them. Do you know that one of the wisest men, King Solomon, also prayed to God to ask for discernment to distinguish between good and evil, that is to know the difference between right and wrong. Sometimes it can be difficult. During these times, we need the courage to make the right choice. We can trust God and ask Him for help. Come, let us pray together now. Close your eyes and bow your head. God, You are powerful. Help us to know the difference between good and evil and make the right choice in everything we do. We love you and we trust in you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Only God can hang the stars in outer space. Only He can make a rainbow from the rain. Only God can part the seas to make a way. There's nothing He can't do. No, there's nothing He can't do. Cause He can do anything, anything at all. Giant too big, no mountain too tall. I know God is powerful. Yeah, anything He can do, anything, anything at all. Only God can hang the stars in outer space. Only He can make a rainbow from the rain. Only God can part.